Alright, it's time for interactive and remember you can catch premium sporting content by downloading the Sportsmax app from the Google Play or the App Store. And also, be sure to catch our weekly build-up to the Olympic Games with Le Baton. Le Baton premieres Wednesday at 6pm, 7 ECT on Sportsmax. And for those of you that forgot, in case you missed it, it's now on Sportsmax, Scene TV and YouTube. This week, I spoke to Trinidad and Tobago's Olympian, Jareem Richards. He picked some medals in Paris. What I would say, though, um, I always go to each and every race thinking that I'm the winner, thinking that I'm going to do the best. And my goal is to get an Olympic medal. Um, it's one of the only medals, if not the only medal, that I haven't been able to achieve. I've had Commonwealth medals, uh, World Indoor medals, World Championship medals. So it has been my goal to always be able to achieve the full collection. Um, it's definitely my goal, I would say. I'm going to vote it, I'm going to pray about it. If it's in the cards for me, it happens. But if it doesn't happen, I mean, it doesn't happen. It just wasn't for me. But trust me, I'm going to work like it is for me. Well, I did tell him I am hoping for some gold medals in Paris. Uh, it's now time to present the nominations for this week's Sportsmax Class Moment. They come thundering into the top of the lane in the 50th running of the 1000 Guineas and Run Julie Run now pulls alongside Banadura and now Run Julie Run as expected begins to kick away from them. Come home to me is traveling down against the rail. Banadura has cried enough. It's Run Julie Run. She's racing away from them. If a traffic cop was here this afternoon surely Run Julie Run would pick up a speeding ticket and it's Run Julie Run that will capture the 1000 Guineas by five legs. to catch, and that should be it. He holds on, and Real Madrid will claim yet another Champions League crown. And that is it. Jude Bellingham can't believe it, can't believe the season that he's had in Spain with Real Madrid. goes out a winner Danny Carvajal yet again a winner and the head coach yet again into the lane it is California crown and Robert Halladine interesting times ahead now trying to reel the leader in but California crown is moving quickly as they head toward the final furlong interesting times ahead now beginning to nibble at that lead California crown out in front by two lengths interesting times ahead trying to catch him California crown attempting to go all the way this is the 50th running of the 2000 Guinness Robert Halladine and California crown upset the field it's gonna be Jason Acosta for me. For real? Yeah. The yeah. upset? Well, not only the upset, but he swept one, two, three in the event, and to win one, two, three in a classic in horse racing is is First not easy time. to achieve. Trainers spend decades, sometimes their lifetime, trying to win a classic. And for the Costa to finish first, second, and third is tremendous. Anthony Nunes did it in 2019 when Supreme so close the Triple Crown, um, winning ahead of um, Tuna Ciliata and Princess Eva. But um, I still have Real Madrid though for the Lance, class that's moment. That's so old. What Come on, old? the win. Old? It is. It, it falls into the period that we're looking back at. So you didn't get over that win yet? Of course, but, but it, it, is, becomes... it, it is nominated. So you have to assess its worth for this class moment. You are only saying that because you're a Barcelona fan and you're still hurting. No man, I saw that and I'm like, didn't that happen like a few weeks ago? No, it was last Saturday. Mm -hmm. So and what we, does that mean? We haven't had a class moment. So what does our producer say? Because we both disagree. Honorable mention for Jason Acosta. As I said, it's it's 
it's tremendous. Producer says, Jason Acosta, okay. you lose, I win. That's not a lose or a win thing. <laughs> it we're, is, dude. We're, we're, we're judging. This is where we sit and we put on our judging hats and we yes. choose a prestigious Sportsmax zone yes. class moment. And Jason Acosta getting one, two, three in the Jamaica 2000 Guineas is bigger than Real Madrid winning the UEFA Champions League for the 15th time. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, producer. All we right. got this. <laughs> All right, well, let's take some responses now from Thursday's segment on USA creating a major upset over Pakistan in the T20 World Cup. Heading across to YouTube now, one, two, three, let's see. All right, so Super says, so unbelievably proud of our boys. Chase from New York City and up the West Indies too. We'll show them all. Danny Rock says, Wonderful game from the USA. Vastral Carr was wonderful. Monank and Jones, wonderful. Con congratulations. User says Team USA is looking great and they can qualify. Elaine, no, Alan Lee. We need to attract more cricketers to the USA. Lionel Singh, Pakistan is an up and down team. Never bet on them. Just fun. Pakistan cricket team is doomed. <laughs> well, what I will say from these comments is I'm happy that, of course, the Americans are um, getting really, really thrilled and they're becoming so interested in this. And I think it's, it has a lot to do with it. And the they way. have a great shot at making the Super 8s based on what we have seen so far. All yeah. right. Well, let's take this video now on the USA cricket team selection. What do we have? U.S. cricket team selection. All right. Let's go, America. First player, Gajanan Singh. Um, Nitish Kumar, Me Lind Kumar, Cheyenne Jahangir, Ali Khan, Monag Patel. Uh, is this a US team? It is. Oh Nisard Patel, <laughs> Jasdeep Singh. Are you sure this is the US team, right? It's not India, Pakistan, or Canada. No, just asking. Asir Mohammed, Surab, uh, how do you say this? Nature Kerr. I don't think this is the right team. No, it's the next oh player. My. Oh, next player. Steven Taylor. All right, this is the right team. Steven Taylor. Let's go, America. You know, Lance, That's really funny. That's really no, funny. No, you know what makes it more funny? Yes. Someone just messaged me before yes. we went live, and I said to you, yes, yes. what do they mean? They asked me, Mariah, is this the Canadian team? I need some answers. Yes, yes. So this just reiterates the entire point. Many people are, of course, looking on at the teams and they're so confused because they're wondering why these players look like they belong to other countries. But give them the explanation you gave me. They're, they're naturalized, naturalized Americans, yes, at the moment. So they represent the USA. All right. Well, viewers, on that note, I have to tell you goodbye just for this week. But don't you worry, I'll be back on Monday. Same time, same place. And keep it locked to Sportsmax. Bye for now.